Go now. We are very interested in how people know what upright is. Um, mostly, we're interested in how that then can be prevented from causing falls. Is, are there ways we can train people to pay attention to the right inputs so that if they're starting to fall, they will catch themselves? Close your eyes. Edie's had a stroke in the past. She's actually been a subject here before. She came in for one of the experiments we were doing. We're very interested in looking at people who've had central nervous system damage to see if they process environmental information differently. Okay, awesome, that's good. That's it. Uh, you don't get a stick. What we have is called a three wall cave. And this is a virtual environment that actually has three walls. So when you're standing within it, it covers your full field. Standing. So if you think walking down the street and you see people moving around you, you see cars whizzing by, sometimes you see birds flying in the sky, you have all this information, you have uneven surfaces on the ground, all of this information is really coming in at once. And the question is, if you have either um, diminished sensitivity, which happens to many of us as we age, or happens to people with diabetes or other clinical syndromes, what are you going to do to compensate for that loss so that you don't fall down when the message comes in, you're, you're falling away from upright, you're starting to lose your balance. Are right, you guys ready? Yep. All right, here we go. One, two, three, go. I'm able to present people with all, a lot of the choices they actually have to deal with with normal movement. And so by looking at the responses, I can say, oh, older people tend to be more sensitive to a visual world that's going in a downward fashion. And so we can use that to force them off balance and train them how to react to that. As we get older, the um, sensation in our feet starts to diminish. And one of the things we've been doing with this experiment is actually training people with vibration to the soles of the feet and then putting them in the environment and forcing them to lose their balance and seeing if having had those vibration inputs, they're more sensitive to the loss of balance and responding better. And we're finding, yes, they are. We're actually getting results showing us that people are learning what to respond to. Hello.